In this video, I'll be talking about money scams. Money scams that work today and how scammers can still trick not only old people, but me and you and anybody else. And most of these money scams are really clever and you've probably already been scammed. So hopefully this video will help you to avoid getting scammed again in the future. So stick around to the very end of this video so you can hear about the best money scams that are going on right now. Now, if you're new to the channel or you're watching one of my videos for the very first time, my name is Ian and I post videos here on YouTube every single day on topics relating to making money and personal finance. So if you'd like to see more of these videos, then give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel and turning on all the notifications. And that way you'll be able to get the updates every day when I post a new video here. Now, before I talk about these money scams, let me just mention that the purpose of this video isn't to have you think about these and then try them at home. The point of this video is to help you to avoid falling for these money scams. If you attempt any of these, you'll most likely end up in jail at some point. So I would suggest that you don't try any of them. Instead, find some other legitimate ways of making money. Now, I also want you guys to comment below and let me know if you've ever been scammed before, how much money you got ripped off by, and how did you find out that you got scammed? Comment below. For me, I got scammed when I used my credit card and someone cloned it and went on a shopping frenzy and left me with a bill of around $8,000. This brings us to one of the easiest and most effective money scams for scammers right now, and this is the ATM machine scam, which seems to evolve each month. So an ATM machine works by you inserting your credit or debit card, and then the machine will scan the magnetic strip at the back or read the chip on the card, or maybe you have a newer card that you can tap and go with the touch and pay feature. These are all compromised by scammers. The method of swiping your card is the easiest way for scammers to scam you. They will install another magnetic reader in the ATM machine, which is called a skimmer, and this scans your card as well. This tiny skimmer, which can be customized to fit in any ATM machine or card machine, then either sends the information by Bluetooth to the scammer who is nearby preying on his victims, or they can actually get a text message sent to them each time someone swipes. This way, they can get hundreds of people's debit and credit cards information every day and clone their credit or debit cards, and then in turn, use the clones to get cash. Now, even if you have the card that has a chip or the tap and pay feature, scammers can still go on the dark web and purchase wireless scanners to steal your credit card information, or they can buy the parts uh, sometimes on eBay and make this themselves. There are even entire ATM machines being sold where a scammer can purchase a real ATM machine, but the ATM machine only has one single purpose to record your card information and your PIN, and then it will tell you that it is out of service after you've entered your information. Now, I mentioned getting your card information, but you may be thinking that they can't scam you because they got your information, but they don't have your credit or debit card PIN, but that is also incorrect. This keypad can easily be placed over existing keypads, and this also records information or your PIN. As a fail-safe, some scammers may even go a step further and install a pinhole camera on the ATM machine to record your actions while you are there. So how do you prevent yourself from getting scammed here? Well, what I do is I only use ATM machines at banks because those are always covered by multiple cameras and even security, so scammers usually won't try to go there and install anything on these ATM machines because they would get caught doing so. Now, if I'm going to use an ATM machine and the location looks suspicious, like someone could potentially or possibly have installed these scanning devices or scamming devices, then I will wiggle the keypad and the part of the ATM machines that takes the card to see if it falls off or if it is actually a part of the ATM machine and not a cover that scammers have attached to it. Now, the second type of scam, which is also related to the ATM machine scam, is the swiping scam, and this one is very easy to fall for. So scammers will pay people to do this for them, and this usually happens in the service industry, like at restaurants or other places where you give your card to someone to swipe it in a credit card machine and then charge you for a service. So this works by them double swiping your card. So for instance, let's say you're at a restaurant and it's time to pay. 
you hand your credit card over and they swipe it in the credit card machine and then they tell you that the transaction didn't go through. Then they will tell you that they'll try to swipe it again, which you may agree to because you can't understand why your card would be declined and you think maybe they didn't insert a card correctly or swipe it correctly. Now the truth is that they did. They then swipe the card a second time, but this time they swipe it in the reverse order or maybe the credit card machine has two tracks for swiping cards, but it's only noticeable if you look at the machine closely because the tracks are side by side in the same spot. When this happens, they actually swiped your card and charge you for whatever you purchased, but they also swiped your card a second time and got the information stored. And with this information, they can then clone your credit or debit card and then go on a swiping frenzy with it later on. This way, they don't need your PIN because most card machines or credit card machines that take the chip or tap and go or swipe will allow you to swipe and they won't ask for a PIN. Getting your information on a new card is also very easy and inexpensive. Scammers can purchase a swiping starter pack and yes, this is actually a real thing. You can Google it if you don't believe me, but they can purchase this on the dark web for a couple hundred dollars or they can even go on eBay and purchase old ATM machines or credit card machines and remove the parts and create their own scamming or swiping devices customized to carry out the specific type of scam that they want to. So if you ever go somewhere and they try to double swipe your card, be very careful because this may be an attempt to steal your information and rip you off later on. The next way to get scammed is by getting ripped off on eBay or a similar marketplace, even Amazon. This happens when you pay for something and then when it gets delivered, it is not what you paid for. So an example would be me going on eBay and seeing a laptop for $3,000. I want this laptop because I need a powerful laptop to do work. The laptop is being sold by a new seller that I don't know, but I purchased the laptop and the seller uploads a tracking number and receives the payment of $3,000. I then sit and wait for a week. The tracking never updates. I email the seller and they tell me some excuse. They say maybe there was a delay with the item, but it will be delivered soon. Now, maybe after another week, I see updates on the tracking and the item finally gets delivered. When I open the packaging, there is no laptop. Inside the box, there is a brick. The seller who sold me the laptop has now deleted his account and stolen my $3,000 and instead of me receiving a laptop, I received a brick in the mail. The scammers will create multiple listing accounts and do this to several people every day to make money and send either empty boxes, broken equipment, or random objects that you aren't interested in. And by the time you realize, they will have already cashed out and removed their seller profiles, websites, or accounts. So to avoid getting scammed like this, be sure to always read the listing descriptions and only purchase things online from reputable websites or at least ones that have a lot of positive customer feedback. Now, another way that you can easily get scammed is by work from home companies or even random people on the street and this is with the fake check scam. So the way this works is that you can apply for some work at home online jobs and you get emailed by some company and they tell you that they're going to hire you to do some administrative work. They then send you a check in the mail and they email you and tell you that they made a mistake and when the check arrives, you should deposit it in your account and then send them some money in return. So for instance, let's say they told you that you were going to get paid $1,000. Instead, they will purposely mail you a check of $2,000 and then tell you it was a mistake and then ask you to deposit the check in your bank account and then send them back the additional $1,000. You receive the check and you deposit it and then you write them a check for $1,000 and mail it back to them or sometimes these people want you to instead use the money to purchase a laptop or cell phones or some electronic items and ship to them or send them cash or a gift card or something else. The same goes for strangers. Someone may approach you and say, hey, I just got a job and I don't have a bank account as yet and I just got paid and if you deposit this check in your account for me and give me the cash, in exchange for your kindness, I'll help you by giving you $50. So you think, well, I can help someone out and I can get $50. In reality, you deposit the check and you give them the money and you get $50, but in three to four days, your bank will call you and tell you that the check was bad and now your account is in the negative and you lost all that money. 
So to prevent this, you want to never take a check from anyone you don't know. And even if you know people, if they want you to deposit a check and then cash or give them cash in return, then that's very suspicious and I would not do it. At least not until the bank clears the check in a couple days and you're sure that the funds were good. So scammers can now get your money and rip you off very easily if you're not very careful. Comment below and let me know if you've ever seen or been affected by any of these money scams. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, then give this video a thumbs up as that's the way these videos get recommended to more people here on YouTube and can potentially help someone else as well and I'll really appreciate it. And also guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos here on credit cards, banking apps, savings accounts, investments, ways to make money and much more. Also, don't forget to subscribe and be sure to turn on all notifications for this channel as that's the only way you'll be able to get the updates of when I post new videos and I'll be posting a new video here on YouTube every single day. I'm also leaving a couple links down below to free stuff and free cashback offers, so be sure to check all the links down below in the description for all kinds of free stuff. Once again, I hope this video was very helpful. All the best and try not to get scammed and I hope to see you guys tomorrow.